life can be busy. Just ask any bumblebee. But this is an opportunity to step out of the rat race, and indeed the bumblebee race, and step into a feeling of calm. I'm Dr. Charles Poden, and you're coming with me. We'll begin this walking meditation by not actually walking. So stand still and take a deep breath in. And then take another breath in. And then take another breath in. And breathe out. And imagine now that you're being bathed in sunbeams. You can feel the sunbeams on your skin. You can feel the sunbeams on your teeth. And you can even feel the sunbeams where the sun don't shine. And now we'll begin our walk. So put your best foot forward. And now put your worst foot forward. And basically just keep doing that. And as you walk, feel free to make any adjustments you may need. Listen to the sounds around you. The wind up a tree's trunk. A caterpillar eating its dead friend. And the beautiful sound of chirruping birds. Look at the forest, but don't name what you see. Just observe and watch in wonder. <coughs> you see a leaf on the ground now. So crouch your legs and pick the leaf up by its tail. Consider the leaf. And now consider brushing the leaf over your face. And now consider giving your leaf a name. Just have a quick think. And say the name of your leaf out loud now, Jock. And then gently place the leaf back down and keep walking. And imagine now you're walking towards a pool of bugger. Hello? Giles, you've got to come home right now. I can't talk now, Dorothy. I'm doing a guided meditation in the woods. What? What woods? No, I'm not, I'm not actually in the woods. Can we talk later? You're interrupting. Giles, there's a chimpanzee upstairs. Pardon? What are you talking about? A chimpanzee escaped from the zoo and I've just heard it upstairs. A chimpanzee? Yes! There's a chimpanzee upstairs? Yes! I'm waiting for the police now. Will you please come home and help me? Well, how did it get in? You left the bathroom window open this morning. Well, don't go blaming me. I'm not blaming you. I'm just asking you to come home and help your wife. There's a chimpanzee upstairs. I don't know what to do. Well, make sure you hide the bananas. You know what? Forget it. You're impossible. You're and don't let it get in the wardrobe. Hello? Right, where were we? Yes, name a leaf and walk towards a pool of water. The water shimmers in the sunlight, like a sort of big reflective dish. Actually, mirror. I, I meant mirror. And you're going to reach into the water now. And out of the water, you pull out a face. And as you look at the face, you realise who it belongs to. It's yours. This face symbolises your public face. The pretend face that you put on to impress others. But nobody's impressed. So just drop your face and move on. And as our walk comes to an end, you feel calmer, more relaxed, and weirdly taller than when we first started. And the next time you're in the forest, look around, because you never know. I might just be in there with you. Nana stay. Bye.